Well, tonight, a Northeast community held vigil outside a hospital room for a man known to so many through sports, his neighborhood, or his job. COVID is taking its toll, so much so he's now on a special machine for his heart and lungs. Kimberly Davis is outside Penn Presbyterian Medical Center tonight. Kim? Yuki, a husband and father of two, is in the fight of his life against COVID-19. Tonight, the Northeast Philly community is rallying around him in prayer. Everybody that's here loves Matt. He's just a really special guy. It's been four weeks since Matt Evangelist has seen his family and loved ones. He was hospitalized after contracting the coronavirus. Matt is currently unconscious and his loved ones are praying for a miracle. Dozens gathered outside of Penn Presbyterian Medical Center to uplift the Frankfurt resident and his family in prayer. The 52-year-old needed more than just a ventilator. He's now on a machine that temporarily takes over the work of the heart and lungs so they can rest and heal. People are walking around without masks and thinking it's not real. And I think a lot of us thought that um, until it hits home, until it hits close to home. And then reality sets in that, hey, you know what, this is really real. We really do have to take it seriously. Matt's loved ones know he's fighting for his life in their hoping prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Change it's Matt's current circumstance. We're praying for him, but he's in this fight, and we're in it with him. We're in it to the end of this fight, and he's going to win. The Northeast community has been able to raise nearly $93,000 through a GoFundMe campaign. We're live in University City this evening. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Kim, thank you. We'll see you at 11.